to Mirage. I'm not so sure. Like you said, a very execution-based map. It's going to be difficult for them to maybe adjust the roles up. I really do feel like this could go in three maps, but the form SK showed before, Cold Zero having a fantastic series so far. Yeah, I yeah. like I said, when we touched off, you said it was the cliffhanger. You know, If they do go to Fox on the AWP, does he get the aggressive style where Cold, that's often why they go him on the second op. He can make the play early on, and if he stays on the rifle, does he still play the same tactic? There's, there is some availability for CT sides to push in that sense. The one saving grace, perhaps, is what you say, Valda slots in a little bit better, is that Cold did have a very good game on cash. Yeah. And if, if, if they need to to run with Fox, they need a superstar to step up. It can't be the five, you know, stones that is SK, the solid force that you know what you're going to get. Someone's going to have to go above and beyond. So Cold stepping up at the last game was quite good for them. Yeah, Dignitas, like we said, they kind of held on against all the odds towards the end there. It felt like it should have been a bit of a more of a, a one-sided affair, but they get picked nine rounds in the end, but uh, he felt like SK ran away with that one towards the closing sectors there. But still, Mirage, a chance for redemption here. We'll see if they can bounce back as it's their pick, as we mentioned before. It's going to be a best of three, but uh, loser goes home, and it's interesting. SK actually got battered by Dignitas in the opening group stage games here, but uh, best of three. No cigar so far for Dignitas. Let's see what we do. Just getting on the server right now. Nine players connecting. Rubino's having an issue. An issue. With Steam. They okay, don't then. get along. Well then. Combustion engine's not really his thing. So we'll have to wait a moment. We can see him. He's actually with the admin just behind him. They're trying to sort it out right now inside of their booth. They're on our right. SK is on our left. Just for anyone playing along at home, as you would say. Yes, as I would say. So yes, it's going to be maybe the final map of this evening. It's been a, a long day. Four best of three is always a bit of a, a grueling affair, but we've yeah, got through yeah. it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Tan and James as well. That's true. They had a long slog this morning. They did were doing it nine, nine, to, nine to five. <laughs> yeah. Nine to five. Yeah, they had Jeez, to long it. slog just like a regular person. <laughs> My God, what a hard life. Indeed, right? Yeah. Well, that's it's, uh, it's a hard job, Henry. It is. And there's Rubino headset off, so it doesn't look like we fixed anytime soon. The phones are out as well. Maybe do some Steam verification. I think that's that. probably what it is. We haven't actually seen that a lot lately. Remember last year, that was plaguing us almost every single event. So they're doing it now. That's probably his phone with his email on it, but he's not allowed to have it because the rules state that the admin must be in possession of phones when they're in the booths. True. Well, there you go. So that's probably what they're trying to set and fix. Well, I predicted 2-0 for Dignitas going into this one. That's that's gone already. That's done. But uh, it's still a chance for them to win the series, of course. Obviously, only one map down. It's going to be best of three, but... I don't know, Dignitas haven't really been seen fired up as of yet. Like, Config, Suns comes alive towards the end of it. Almost pulled off that four versus one. Looking very confident to do so. Tackle denied the final kill. Hoping to see some of the other names turn up. I had to say Cajun was relatively quiet overall. Didn't really seem to have that impact to the AWP. We're looking to see that on Mirage. Obviously, a very orb-heavy map. Can uh, have a lot of impact there, especially on the CT side. Moving around dynamically. That's what we want to see from these orpers. Fallen, of course, on your screen right now. He'll be doing lots of that on the CD side. And like you said, the question still remains whether Fox will be picking up that weapon. Three days practice with this player. It's certainly not ideal, but uh, hopefully they can rise to the occasion here. Maybe close things out 2-0. We'll see what happens. And hopefully Rubino starts to connect any second now. He's got his headset on. That's promising. It's a start. I'm seeing still nine players in the server. That's true. I like how we both are just like, this is us waiting. It's waiting now. We want to get this epic series concluded. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh these ones don't do that. What, are you trying to do it like a machine? Th yeah. There you go. Just, oh, that would have been amazing if it went far enough down that I just disappeared. <laughs> wow, that goes really low, actually. Can I be taller than you for once? I don't think that's possible. Hang on. I don't, I don't think that... Well, maybe, yeah, you're doing it. Nice. Nice. How does that I'm feel? like the James now. It feels good. Yeah, it feels, feels good. good. <laughs> yeah, it feels really nice. Well, there you go. I have to say. Okay, so Matt, I'm going to go. I was too small to play hockey, and I was too tall to be a race car driver. You I'm like the really? wrong Really? How tall you have to be for a race car driver? Uh, well, Justin Wilson was 6'2". Uh, may he rest in peace, obviously. But uh, he was 6'2", and they had to redesign an entire monocoque around him when he was on Jaguar and Williams. As such, they couldn't balance the car correctly from tire to tire, and he was slower in F1. Well, Alonso, I think, is 5'9". I think sort of like Massa's eyes, like 5'6". You're like 5'9"? I mean. No, I think actually Alonso's 5'8". I'm 5'11", like 5'10". Okay. Not really 5'11". So yeah, I know Alonso's quite, quite a bit shorter. And then, yeah, Massa was tiny. There's some guys that would have been like, Takuma Sato was like 5'5". Five five. Well, there you go. I know Chad's really happy that we're Racing talking about fans, F1 now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. 
Well, we have got Rubino on the server, so that has filled a little bit of time for us. And we are getting into this game, ladies and gentlemen, potentially the last map of the day. It's going to be Mirage. This is Dignitas' pick, looking for redemption now after getting battered on Cobble, oh, Cobble, Cash, I should say. And it's the ninth round, so let's not get too excited. It's not such it's a massive deal when on Mirage. I get excited. It's not such a massive deal on Mirage, but um, most teams go for the CD half. It is quite traditional on these sort of maps, but we'll see what happens here as we get into the ninth round. Speed Cassie, you love to do that. Uh, I love that. Valda's gonna be the first one to get a kill. So, starting off well. Fox needs to get a kill, but he died, so Valda's the better mercenary already. As it shows, his team goes on to win the night. He does indeed. Well then. We'll see whether they go in the CD half. That's what we're expecting. Stay or switch. And they stay, of course. So they do start on the CD side. And I guess I overhyped it a little bit too much when the knife round was starting. But we still have a few spectators here. Guys, you still with us? Yeah. That's still enthusiastic. I like, I like it. it. Well, it's usually the good ones that stay, right? Exactly. So I think we can be the same level of enthusiasm that we had all day with just these people. Well, we're going to have to make a bit more noise, but yeah. I think, I think we think should get right. everyone to line up single file around the top and get a wave going. Just with the <laughs> few people that we have here. Imagine wave like with like <laughs> 200 people. Okay. That'll be amazing. Uh, huddle for SK. It means a lot to them. Always been a very passionate team. A lot of teamwork. A lot of. Do you know what they're actually talking about? What? How they're going to order food when the room service in the hotel shuts down at 12. That is true. I'm thinking of the same thing. Oh Whoa! They gave us mics for that. They did. That was cool. Oh. They'll jump in. So too will Dignitas, who uh, didn't get up and huddle. Not as enthusiastic, Henry. Well, we'll see what happens then. We go into the pistol, ladies and gentlemen, I'll start it again. <laughs> Potentially the final map of this evening. Dignitas versus SK Gaming. Dignitas looking for redemption here. And after getting taken down on cash, it will be SK set on the T side here at Mirage. This is going to be a pistol drop as well. A Tech 9, I see that for Taco. He's looking to pick that up. He will with the Superman. Another the pistol round here. I mean, Jeff Tech 9 and body armor. We have two smokes. Most of the time, these smokes go towards the A side, towards jungle and the steps area. But considering the setup right now, that might not be the case for SK. They've got two players going towards B Hall right now. It actually probably will. It'll be an A split by the looks of things. Two players coming from underpass and go towards connector. And uh, one person probably holding towards middle for rotations. Contic is boosted down by two pistols on 56. Tries to back away from it, but it's the Tech 9. Superman play from Taco that's going to take him down as he gets into connector. That opens up a lot, but also causes a rotation that gets two players toward jungle. So it's not like they'll have free right to passage all the way through. We're finding Rubino, though, and Taco following up. This is good, fast play out of the A-site bomb plant. A good spot from Volda. Encourages him to take a little jump peek to see exactly where they go to the post plants. And Cajun waits and finds out first. So they've got it down to just one the difference, but no kit means a big problem trying to walk in when they've got a crossfire set ready in Taco. Superman strat works. He finds three kills on the Tech 9 in armor. SK pick up a very valuable pistol round here. And like we said, if they win this map, that's it. It's 2 0 to close things out. They managed to get that smoke towards jungle and CD spawn as well. So, a little bit of an, uh, I guess, unorthodox in terms of what you're seeing. I said it's most teams, like 90% of the time, do those smokes towards the steps and jungle and actually go in together at that point and try and focus towards CD spawn. That's a little A split coming in then. Take down conflict towards connector, shut it down, and no force buy from the CD here. It's nice to see sometimes, I think Dignitas has one of the few teams to do this consistently, they don't necessarily go all in. They want to make sure they have the orb, the grenades and the fuse kits to work with, not limit themselves going forward. But here's more of the smoke I was discussing before, so those are the smokes I was expecting to see on the pistol. They come in the uh, anti-ego here, should be quite a relatively simple round for the Brazilians overall. The smoke's coming, no commitment just yet, maybe they're waiting to see what kind of reaction that baits out from the CTs. Does catch off config, jumping up to spot a place in the palace, but first kill for the SMG. Again, they don't go with the five of them on this map, and I, I don't really blame them on Mirage, to be fair. Even if you do go, unless you go five out B, which isn't really a deal. If you go on A, anywhere you really go, you're going to need some distance to your name. And buying deagles against UMPs, there's still a chance that could prevail. So, two AKs it is. It's definitely a situational buy, as you mentioned last game, but they love to go for that every now and then. Mm. Well, for now, got that man advantage, SK not really going all in just yet. Want to make sure they don't give anything away at this point. Keep all five players alive, use the buddy system efficiently. They've got that man advantage. They've got this. No smokes, actually. You've got to be walking in on a contact sort of play. Molotov towards Shadow there. We'll see whether they can 
for anyone else just yet, but at least they can fill that position now. Fast push, wrap around. Bold is still trying to look toward middle. He's going to get caught off and flanked out by Bold. Cajun found in the corner. He's to try and be sneaky. Can't quite do it this time at all. Five stay alive. Only just for on five HP. But efficient, no less. And two yeah. straight bomb points as well. Those are my efforts. my favorite kind of like anti -gos. You know, you're making sure you use all the time. You use your utility properly. You're treating it like a gun round. That's what you should be doing in CSGO. It's not like the other situations of CS where you could just go for like something quite basic and stick together and just choose a position and go there. CSGO, you have to be so cautious of these... I'm going to say overpowered pistols, um, arguably, in CSGO. Like, it means sometimes they can be used just effectively as weaponry. But here we go then. It's another eco warning the Taz, even more so than before. They've got four USPs and a PD-15 pushing up towards middle. Five players towards the window, I believe, as well. So an open A bomb site called Zero is the first one to arrive. He spots absolutely nothing. He'll call for the bomb to come in momentarily. And a chance to find that first break. Config He's had a rough time so far. I think he's dropped first time in the last three rounds. Oh. Started off all the though, getting shot back into Cold Zero. They do find a trade this time before Bomb goes down, but they're still going to have problems as Fur walks in late toward middle, wraps around and catches off window. So it's going to be Rubino down, MSL to follow. Falling inside the site to take the second, and Fox jumping on top of Cajun B, spots him up, takes him down quite quickly. Low HP, so very straightforward. They keep two of the UMPs up. With Cold going down, he's on 69.50. They buy one AWP, throw... Okay, so AK instead. I was going to say, throw the AWP over to potentially... Someone different and keep the two UMPs, but that's answered because Fallen's got an AK out now as well. Interesting. Normally SK keep the UMPs, are more than happy to do that. Throwing one of those away, I guess at this point they have got money, they've been happy with the way things have gone so far. They want to make sure they have a bit more firepower and just kind of cement their chances going forward in this first gun round here. No orb for the CTs, five M4s. A couple of kits there as well, they're pretty well equipped in terms of the utility. That's the difference maker. Normally in this sort of round, if you force by the second, the CTs are really struggling there. There's a good chance to go five zero down. This is the benefit of not forcing the second. You have these names, you have the kits, everyone has a decent weapon as well. And myself. Flashed off towards the beer palmer. It's not going to fall back just yet, though. Bomb still towards top of mid. And we have two players in Palace towards A side as well for SK Gaming. Just trying to see what's available for them, seeing the CDs go hunting at all. Can be quite common on these sort of rounds for the reasons I just stated before. When you're actually up against it a little bit more in terms of the buy, trying to find a man advantage. To get something going there on the CT side that could be limited. Back away from the apartments. Grab the bomb on the way by for Fern. M4 is not able to find anything just yet. Two kits. Lots of smokes, though. They have held on to this quite well, considering there's still a minute left in the round. So they've got lots of utility to still slow down SK. Mid's the name of the game. Taco. Low mid smoke to cover off connector. Fast cat smoke to allow cross to boxes. But no one's actually going to be heading that direction. In fact, I take it back. So Taco throws one with a step forward that goes in toward the window. Different lineup that I'm used to seeing on it, but it works about three or four different ways you can throw it. Doesn't mean any of them are easy. It's one of the harder smokes in the game. And MSL tries to play on the inside of the smoke at B. Nate's going to land directly beside him. And he tries to time it. SK, they're already inside. The Fox goes down. Rubina's able to compensate. But this has actually been a sales pitch. They've rotated back around. Palace is going to be taken over. And it's onto the A site. We're falling. He'll lead the charge. He go for the fast play. No smoke out towards CT. He overcommits. The flash catches him. 14 seconds. They need to grab the bomb and get it back down. They're getting caught off in the open. Back to where Cat Burr can't land the shot. Cold's done well to bring this back into a one versus two, but Five six seconds, seconds. Yeah. bomb not grabbed. He's got to get kills. They know it. Back away. Why is he still peeking out on cap? That could have almost cost them. I think only time does expire before we can hit those shots. Bit of a weird. Try and take him down after the round, to be fair. Bit of a weird scenario there, wasn't it? Um, he had 15 seconds remaining, and obviously no smokes there, but they go for the open plant with CD Sport. No one really covering him either. Both CDs face and actually think, okay, what the hell is going on? Why is he just planting in the open like this? Goldero does what he can with this three on one situation, but. Manages to dent the economy of the CT. I think they still have more than enough money to buy. SK, that is. Dignitas actually feeling the heat a little bit more. So, Godzilla, yes, he does not win the round, but he actually manages to take them down to one player. So, that means a buy goes to this one. A famous two UMPs, two M4s, actually worse off after winning that previous round than they were before. We're waiting. Trying to let Taco push in. So, he does find him as well. Just the edge of the smoke. His feet show. Headshot lined up. Bends down and crouches into the bullets to make it even easier as Fur gets in toward the underpass. It's on Fig that's trying to burrow his way in behind that smoke. He'll back away. They've got the man advantage. They'll need to stay over aggressive. Smoke not landed. Third step. It's on the second, so gap above it. And Fallen tries to take advantage. It doesn't quite do so. But he can jump through the window now that he's on top of the ledge. Very strong piece of metal. And he has tremendous balancing skills. Good find from Con Fig on Fur. These first initial frags here, much needed for Dignitas, considering the weaponry. And as Valda to open things up towards Palace, took down Taco and now first dropped as well. 
still one kill comes in favour of SK but Fallen. Oh, it's just looking a little bit problematic. Maybe not as uh, smooth as we're used to seeing from the Brazilian side here on Mirage, but still a chance of winning this one. Config 11 HP towards just as long as possible without doing the majority of the legwork here. And the Config joins in just at the attention taken away from him. Remaining finds one kill, but that's all they'll find. And Dignitas. Up against it, that Rambo managed to hold on. I don't think they've broken the economy just yet. You can see it's 5k on towards Fox, 4k on Corsair and Fur. Taco and Fallen's a little bit behind, but I think they'll probably buy this. They're discussing it right now. So, yeah, there come the AKs out, and it's going to be two players on Tech 9 potentially. I think Taco will probably get the AK armor, to be fair. Here's the AK. No, it's the armor, sorry. And here comes. Oh, okay. He could have actually got an AK 47. That suggests maybe an execution coming in. So, he's definitely had enough for an AK, just armor, no nades. But he goes for the Deagle and the utility crashes. Taco's going to try and hold them over to our A right now with the Deagle. Make contact with the pistol. Suggesting that the economy is quite low as we know it. The rest of the meanwhile, dripping up into toward mid. And the former Cold Zero looking for picks toward window. And inside B apartments. Bomb is in the hands of Fallen with that Tech 9. So look for him to be fast paced toward the site. Best case scenario for him is they find entry kills close enough that as he's going to the site, picks up a gun. And then in the post plant, all things are equal. Taco waits, just trying to sell this still. Well, the bomb's in the B-Horse for now. Smoke towards the A-side, mm. and drops by himself towards the connector. Actually taken out by Convict, who faces from the window area. They have to and go on B. Yeah, they kind of, kind of have to now. Man of Artists wants to give a dignity attack. Rubino, ready to receive, and MSL can't find the first shot, but Rubino, he certainly does. A headshot towards Box. Colin tries to do what he can with that Tech-9. Baits out one shot. Has to use the movement mechanics, but can't land it. Ferd, meanwhile, does find him back, but... Rotations have already headed over in this direction, and as we mentioned early on, Taco is selling on A, so he's so far from all of this. Bomb down. Grab the AK and back away. 43 seconds Six to get away. Almost caught. And is indeed by Volta in the window. Well, there's been a lot of interesting economic situations going on so far in this game, but finally, I think SK Gaming have been broken down. They do not have the bomb plan in our previous round to rely on config there with the opening pick. And Rubino doing a decent job there as his teammate dropped as well. Stays alive just about long enough there to go down, but it allows his teammates to rotate in to allow config to finish things off there. 3-3. Three, three. We tie things up. I was about to say, is this a force buy? Coming in from SK. It's actually not. It's a partial buy, leaving the money around the 1500 mark. And they're going to go in with Tech Nines. One smoke, no flashes, and maybe another A split coming in, similar to what we saw in the pistol. Config waiting for an opportunity to spot down below as well. Won't get it. Not playing ladder room. We haven't actually seen a lot of ladder usage so far. Or aggression from Catwalk in that sense. Passive on connector, so they won't be able to spot the walk out from underpass, but it doesn't matter. They've got the lineups. Both CT inside jungle and Volda. Just waiting to be pinned in, no less. Suppressing fire, but he's the only one going to kill it. Is on to him. Hello. Nice shot on Gonfig from far. Oh, Two of five, though, and MSL's there immediately after. 4-3, Dignitas strike back. Good response to build this up, but it's going to be AKs out, 4,800 for Cold Zero. Okay, I'm going to stick to the AKs instead. Well, Dignitas will take the lead now. Round number eight comes in. We do have a nice four-stage loss bonus for SK, so they managed to get some decent money, $2,900 to be exact, on top of the 1500 that they already have in the previous round. So it's going to be five AKs, no AWP yet. The Reaver side, no one really running away with terms of the money game so far, but Fallen, different way to throw that smoke. What is that, man? Was well, supposed to be towards the window. Missed him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a good miss. As now KJP's going to try and spray and take advantage of it. It allows Config as well to get down below with that miss smoke being in middle. It's an extra wall for him to peek the underpass. Smartly gets back inside of the flames and finds Fallen. MSL is going to push up on the back of that information. Very good positioning from Dignitas. Bomb down. And all the kills go their way. That one smoke, it may not seem like much, but what a massive difference. KJB is able to do damage, get the read on Catwalk. Config looks toward under and catches one off, rotating back. So it's not necessarily the window player that kills them, right? But that means that the attention can't be focused towards the connector. That's the problem. So they're a little bit worried. They have to keep looking at two different positions, and then they go up towards short. They're just hoping for the best at that point. Config takes them down. You can see it really kind of upsets them in terms of the way that they're actually approaching that B site. And then Cold Zero now, five versus one. They don't find a single kill here. They did a little, little bit of damage towards Config and Cajun, but that's about it, I'm afraid. One minute mark remaining. He's just hoping that a CT walks into his crosshair. There's not really any reason to change their positions right now. Got a pretty much perfect setup. See the bomb down at B apartments. Everyone is holding the flanks. Don't need to go hunting for him. Let him, let him time the round out and get no money. So the thing is, he'll have a maximum loss bonus next round. So he probably... Needs to decide, do I die here? Do I go into the next round with the AK? 
I would say you probably want to get the money. You want that $3,400. You want to be buying into the next round, but still, you want to start building up that economy, right? Colt's going to wait it out with this AK. 21 seconds further. I say 21 seconds. There's 13 seconds on the clock and an additional four seconds that if he goes down, and that's worst case scenario. And MSL is getting a lot closer at the right time. That looks the wrong way. He's going to give Cole the kill. It's a warning shot that gives away his position, but I don't think there's enough opportunity or time for Config next closest to wrap around and find him, so he's fine. There it is. He does save the AK over. Like I said, $3,400, so they could buy it as they wanted to. So it'd be a mixture of Tech Nines and that saved AK. Considering the way things have gone so far, I would advise against that. Maybe just a, a partial buy perhaps could work out for them. So they're not going to go all in at this point. So a few pistols, body armor, sometimes head armor as well. Going to be saving the money though. So this is Cold Zara who's like all in at this point. He saved the weapon. You don't get any money for surviving the round without the bomb parts, of course. So smokes towards mid. Let's see if Cold Zara can find anything with this AK. Tarko. Smoke out in front of him. Can't do much with this deagle. There is a set lineup where you can set a Molotov to fire in, but also pre-fire down into that corner if you line it up inside on one of the ledges. Meanwhile, in mid, it's config traded back. Very nice shot from Fur because no smoke's down. They get the AK gone, and this is what we were talking about. We haven't seen this aggression from the catwalk side. Rapino's playing there now, but he's still sitting quite far back, so they've got some space to work with in that position, and still Vald is going to try and utilize the smoke at Palace. I've got a four and four situation, so something to work with here, yeah. Fern out with the AK in hand. Taking on in his back pocket as well. No nades though, they need him to step up and find his kill, but Ta Valda is actually in a really strong position. Decides to readjust though. And that's due to the fact that Cajun moved for a second and wasn't watching his back. Hello, I think Cajun spotted him there. I think so too, because Valda's changed his position accordingly. No one's spotting the direct top of A main though, and that's where Fallen's gonna try and slip in. So Valda's position at Firebox to cover off both angles at once is actually quite good. And it'll bring Rubino back over towards CT. This is again, as you say, split second spotting. And they're reacting accordingly. Molotov now comes out. Cage needs to be careful. Two nades thrown. Gets the gun back in time. Fur's trying to be very sneaky in that corner. Blind it up. He's found third fallen. He'll go down in sandwich. As Taco tries to do what he can from far late to come out as well because he was covered off so well with utility. Six rounds now for Dignitas. All in a row as well. So SK's gone very quiet on this T side. They have. I think that's going to be, what, six rounds in a row now. So double orb set up on the T side of Mirage. That is an interesting one. So it's going to be Fox and Fallen, of course. Cold Zera now not the secondary orb of Fox with this lineup. Has to have to take over that role. Cold Zera needs a little bit more growth than the others. Obviously, for the reasons he had the AK in the previous round after saving it. So he gets that 3400 baseline. And uh, he'll get the Tech 9 and armor. Not necessarily a big deal, considering the two orbs. It's a different set of a, what a great play there from Convic. It takes a great amount of movement skill to get them that quickly. He manages to land the jump and actually take down Fallen as well. One of the orbs. He was not expecting that at all. Fantastic work from Convic. Tom goes forward of a smoke, but backs away instead because no teammates there to support us. They're still trying to walk back in from the underpass. Exactly this position. I have to check that vent. You always do. Unlike Cobble, you can fire through that one without breaking it, but no one's been playing it. Fox, meanwhile, he's pushed up this time into the B apartments. Down a man already. They need to find the equalizer. As Cold's picked up that second AWP, it's definitely a desperate play to go for a dual op setup on T side, and that shot firing off to the B side. It served to give the, that away, the fact that they've used it, or if they rotated it that quickly. By now, they'll definitely have figured out there's going to be two of them. They've only got one smoke remaining as well. Fur has done a good job to get towards Connector, but still, the man his advantage lies with them. Double orb setup, so they wanted to even execute onto the site. They needed opening pick really to actually get something rolling here. Double orb, that's why it's not really traditional to see on the T side of Mirage. It's very difficult to get on these bomb sites. You want to have the mobility of the AKs to work together as a little pack. Loud up, misses the shot, but recovers and takes down Taco. First two ones out from Connector. He's where's the one in the play. Where's the refrag there? He's just facing by himself there. It's just all in by himself. Gets taken out. Nice shot, Valda. Fox found. Lovely shot from Cold, but really what at this point? Is it worth misses the second? That might be the end of him. It certainly is. You're right. There's not much going on in terms of timing. Yeah. SK is normally very good. Even if they're not running an execution-based game, they're running a trade base. 
And they seem to be giving themselves up for free. This is a really nice play from Coffin. Just as the smoke blooms as well, we can see over it. There's a little gap there, as usual. And he yeah. manages to land a real nice shot there. Gets a second as well. Just punishes the player getting out of connector. You're absolutely right, though. You can see this is a map SK. I'm going to assume haven't really practiced in that three-day boot camp they've had. They look really off, very flat so far. So far, they've only really won the pistol. The gun rounds have just ran away from them. Taking a pause now. Still have maximum loss bonus. I know bombs going down. I don't think the bombs being planted in any of these rounds as of yet. Uh, in terms of the gun rounds, right? So we'll see what happens as we go into round number 11. $3,400 pretty much across the board. Cortez has a little bit more as he saved 600 bucks in the previous round on just a Tech 9 buy. But yeah, I think at this point, maybe never partial one. Tech 9, just maybe just rush B. A couple of smokes, hope for the best. I don't think you can really afford forcing into this one, so it will be the partial buy. Upgraded pistols, armor, a couple of smokes, and you either go for flare execute or like rush B. Let's see what they decide to do. Smoke towards mid. That goes towards the catwalk area like we saw before. Maybe this could be the B-Rush. I just painted a picture for you. Maybe it'll be execution. Considering they have the smokes, you can just smoke towards the end of balcony and uh, towards kitchen and short as well. You can smoke both the short pillars there. We'll see whether they decide to do it. So, flashing himself back in. Last time he was successful. Still manages one fully blind. That up for can't land shots. But there is a trade, and we just talked about this. This is what SK needs. They need to find refrags. They get it again. Fox finds it, but Kitchen's already rotated this time. And it's just two remaining, one of which is just on a Tech 9. He's going to be serving to save his teammate, protect him as Bomb goes down. He may just do that because he's wrapped in, but he's lost Taco. He's on a Tech 9 all to himself, and Config's behind. Coming in from Catwalk, it's going to be another retake, another defused Dignitas. Map 3 is looking very likely early on because uh, yeah. I hate to call a game done so early. I'm not going to call it done, let's be honest. But at this pace, the way SK are struggling, it's not looking encouraging. Well, they have taken a pause before that round, so maybe they've had an adjustment. They tried that double up set up on the T side. That's, that's desperate. Normally you talk about that being desperate on the CD side, when everything's going wrong, you chuck it in to try and kind of recalibrate yourself. On the T side, I'm not really sure what they're hoping to achieve that. This is more traditional. Get full on the orb, slow things down, let's do a default, let him go to B at the start of the round, see if you can find a pick, maybe towards Palace, execute. That's, that was working so well for them on cash. Just execute those plays. The wall of smokes, allow your players to at least have some control of the bomb site before everything goes wrong. They're getting picked off one by one so far. Convix is toying with them. As we go to round number 12, I think we have got a bit of aggression here from the CTs. We've got Convict pushing up towards Palace. This is a really nice play. If he decides to go towards T-Spawn as well, he could actually be a real thorn in SK side at this point. And so again wants to push these apartments. He's being very relentless in this position. Flashed yeah. in this time as well with a support system of Cajun B behind him on the AWP. But as you say, Config and Valda now both doing this on A. Dick and Toss are getting confident. And SK has got no idea. Oh, I can say no idea this is coming. Taco ready for it. Jumps up though, and that timing. Exactly. Wrong time to jump. Config hits him, and smartly they'll back away. And he is going to back away, but Valda stays. So with both players pushed up, they have no idea this presence still exists. MSL holds apartments. Cajuns drop back. Everything's covered off right now. Very good map awareness from Dignitas. SK them. Slowing things right down. They've lost that first pick once again, and there's no reply. So 52 seconds remaining. They still have. I was about to say, some smokes, there's actually none at all. Two Molotovs are waiting and hoping that Dignitas has to make a mistake here. But Rubino is such a perfect position to shut this down until there's some sort of commitment or some sort of nuance given away. He doesn't really need to change up right now. Cold Zero, though, this could work out. This almost guaranteed kill. Yeah, that's It does really work nice. out from Cold, but that's almost leaving it too close because Fallen was staring out to Connector and was not watching it. Could have been caught off. Okay, well, something to work up here now. 25 seconds, that's the problem. Need to get to a bomb site. They're fumbling the jump up. Come on, let's get in there. And MSL replies quickly, killing Fox. Smart play as well because he gets back out from the underpass and goes over to B. This means Vald is rotated all the way around. And MSL will have apartments covered off. Cold turns to it. Cold sprays another one down. It's two for him and Fur. He'll find one in rotation. It's just Volder remaining, but they don't know where he's coming from. Two HP on Cold. Bomb will go down, thankfully. And when Cold gets caught, it will serve to tell exactly where he is. And that's going to be right now. He's found it. And the angle misses. Shot, thankfully, he's that low because he can spray through. Smoke on it right away. He's got a kit. But the tags come through and Fur's lost him. Fur's lost sight. Volda almost could have wrapped it around and caught him off, but he gets back on it. Instead, Fur, he needs to read this. He doesn't know what he's going for the knife. Instead, he needs to swing. He's going to miss it. Dig the toss. Everything going their way. And that's so desperate, but not going to happen from Fur. You've got 30 AK bullets. You know where the bomb is. Just spray it. Just spray it. You know he's defusing. You can just spray wildly at that point. He wasn't even I full HP. I am very confused by that. Like, the only thing I can think of is that because he wasn't in the site when his teammate planted, he had no idea where, where to spray. Well, why knife then? Yeah, 
I, it's the same thing. I guess yeah. you're hoping the hitbox is going to be bigger because you're that much bullets. closer. And he's left clicking as well, so that's going to take, what, three stabs, I think, at that HP as well. So that's that's uh, an interesting one. You've got 30 bullets in your AK. This crouch and spray is going to be in that smoke somewhere, right? Interesting. Regardless, it's going to be another blunder for SK. 9-3. Fast towards middle. Config once again opening things up. He's going to flash through. This guy is relentless. Val chimes in. This is looking horrible for SK. More frags for Config, and he gets away with it as well. He's being very smart, Config. Throws his own smoke by design, fires over, takes cat, gets a pick in mid, runs back immediately. Every single time he's finding a kill, he's repositioning on the safe side, the cautious side. He's not sticking around for more than he needs to, and it's working out so well. Dick to toss 10 3 over SK on a map. And they SK won the, is normally decent on. They won the pistol here as well, right? They got the 3 yep. 0 on the pistol. Nothing going in their way since the gun rounds have begun. Okay, then. Maximum loss bonus. No bomb going down, but they have had it down in the last couple, so there's more math to buy, but certainly not great for no nades whatsoever. We'll check him with the scoreboard quickly, Taco 3 and 10, all in 4 and 10. He's not, he had a great series to do in with, but it's been pretty quiet. And Mirage, to be fair, most of the players have Cold Zero, the only one posting decent figures. Look at this little boost coming in. They just keep changing it up every single round. A run boost coming in from SK as well. If he's ready for it, oh, we can actually shut it down. Oh. Of course he does. Ball and drops. And he's looking for the second as well. Now it's the second headshot. Amazing work from Convict. This guy is on fire right now. Yeah, sick game from him. Up to 16 kills. Walt is not far off on 14, to be fair, but impact of Convict early on. And he's been so aggressive and creative in his plays, pushing on Palace, pushing in mid. Time goes for a boost. We saw him get above the smoke on top of the ledge. Taco's going to try and make up this by walking out, and KGB reacts very quickly to get the headshot on the M4. Down the 19. But they can back away with a 5 versus 2. And first, Vault the top mid. Doesn't really matter if he's boxing because we know Vault has got that individual skill. He's showing it now on the CT side. Yeah, absolutely. Well then, SK. This could be it because it's 11 3. They haven't shown anything of worth since the pistol round victory. Config is completely destroying them every single round. He must be. Why not? Uh, round 15, auto sniper, sniper for himself. Yeah, absolutely, why not? 16 frags of Config, 16 for Volder. Both these guys just wrecking them. And, uh, well. What's there left to say? Last round, all the snipers out. In the hands of MSL this time, he'll be heading towards B. He's been pretty aggressive to the area as well. Let's see if he can finish things off. Taco just on the Tech 9, four AKs, and this has been a very weak showing from SK so far. Or, I have to say, a very, very strong one from Convict. He's just been destroying them as we go towards this palace area once again. Valda, happy to take the conversation. What a good flashbang that is. Gets the bomb down, and he wants a bit more. Maybe that's where the overextensions come in. It's round 15. It may amount to a fourth because every other time they've been disciplined, but they still have an advantage. Kitchen B able to take back on Fur. And Rubino's World getting back through the ladder. Good shot, Cold Zira. Cajun down, he needs to hold off. Lord jungle, and before the smoke blooms, Rubino gets in position. It's now an auto sniper. And an AK gets Taco, he's going for the fast plant, anticipating no one to be towards CT, and he'll back to Firebox. Very tight angle for him to play versus two. Especially if they both come from different directions, as it seems so they would. Does have the lineup for a headshot toward the top of the stairs. Cheeky little peek below the boards as well, but no one going to be crossing in just yet. Smoke off toward A main. That'll tell him that they don't exactly know where he is. So smoke inside a palace. He's going to sit and wait as long as possible. But it's called Firebox for a reason. Out he goes. Misses the first shot. And Desper tries to spray. And it's MSL to close it. It's going to be a 12 3 half. Oh, not as exciting as I was hoping this first one. We thought, okay, yes, his Dignitas has his pick. They've lost the first map, but SK known to be good on this as well. One of the defining maps for this Brazilian lineup. Not necessarily, of course, when. Obviously, Fox is coming in this one. We know they've only had three days to play, so it's going to be a rough showing for them. But I didn't expect them to look this flat. I thought they'd be able to have more. Why are they not going back to basic, right? Let's just do five man A executions at the start. Let's just go with one of those. That was Kaboom's claim to fame. Let's just do one of those instead of the defaults. His arm working and picked off. Convict's wrecking us. Let's do an A execution here. Let's just get the smokes down, try and get a plan. Cold Zero's in good form. Let's see if we can get him a situation he can win it for us. Not meant to be, apparently. The calls, I have to say, looking a little bit off from SK here. Pistol, if Dignitas has win this, that's GG for me. But let's see if SK can get back into this one. Five sets of armor for them on the CD half, and it's going to be an execution here. This will be what I described before. This will be smoke towards jungle, smoke towards the steps. Focus on CD spawn, pushing aggressively. And the smokes do come in. One towards CD spawn, though. Okay, so maybe they're focusing towards jungle instead. Rubino's put his like gap to jungle position. No shots coming through in MSL. Two already, SK. I'm definitely struggling in this one. Fox does find one headshot, fading away though. His fur, he's getting pushed back so far away from the site. Fox with a smoke in front. Even with that single kill, can do nothing. It's all three kills for MSL as well. Yeah, great work. And make it Another. fourth. Let him find it. They know where Taco is. Down goes Volda, MSL. 
trying to slide out. He's chasing it. He wants the ace. Why not? Give it to him. Sees him trying. I think they are. They're not peeking. Get it, MSL. Oh, oh no. Come See, on. that was always what was going to happen. Yeah, go ahead and try. But the other two, smartly playing the post plant correctly, are going to wait for Taco. And round already over. No kit. He's getting so far removed from this. No one peeking. Rubino's already backing away. Does pick up the kill, but forget it. It's going to be 13 to 3 for Dignitas. Wow. Wow. Not quite well to describe it. A smoke towards connector and CD spawn. And MSL finds four kills. He's very happy with himself. Wanted the ace so desperately. We're going to see it from his POV as well. Let's see how nice those shots were. It was a little back up there from Convict, but nice work getting those first two entry kills. And then towards the window as well. That's his third. And we'll, we'll never know where he got his four from, but let's just imagine it was amazing. <laughs> it was unreal. Yeah. A timeout for Dignitas. This is a perfect time. If you're yep. Dignitas right now, just tilt them off the face of the planet. Like, you've just won the pistol. Let them, momentum. let them stew about it. Let SK just be there. It's like, you know what? Why are they doing this? They're just going to win this game. Why are they letting us just sit here and talk about this? I think this is great. I love this. Kerrigan esque. Yeah. It's like, you know what? You can't even win this round, but we're just going to let you sit there and think about it. 13 3. Dignitas coming with three AKs. UMP and uh, Glocks, if I have a convict. Maybe he's going drop some I'm sure. Oh, hello. We've got one fan that is absolutely awesome. And the force by, of course, has I to want everyone SK. to be that loud, please. It's very quiet in this room. A lot of uh, SK fans. I think the acoustics are quite suppressed in here. I was saying that earlier between games. It's actually very quiet there we in go. general. Okay. <laughs> 13 3. The force by comes in from SK, of course. You and Peter Taco after he gets a couple of kills in the pistol, and the rest of his teammates on. CZs, Desert Eagles, PD50s, and uh, this is the perfect by particular. It's my favorite kind of anti ego approach. Three rifles, two SMGs, and I was about to say a kill at the side of the round is also great, but um, that doesn't come in just yet for Rubino. Okay, Jim, waiting top mid for anyone to push forward. Fox will go toward Cat. I was kind of excited, I have to say, to see how SK was going to approach this with Fox being primary op on cash. I don't think we're going to get that far. I don't think the economy is going to build up that much for SK. Taking no chances, checks off in the corner of Kitchen. Blinded right click flash, ready from Taco to try and catch them off. He's the one with the UMP, remember. He's got to time that perfect. It's so easy to mistime this. More often than not, that's what we see. Wow. Shows patience, though, with that first smoke out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Come on, Sarah. Towards A round for that CZ. He's definitely very proficient with that weapon, but it's going to be enough to find in this round. 13 threes. It's the best three. We do move on to the third map. It's looking very likely at the moment. So then, I think the Taz looking at a little B split coming in here. They've got two players in the B apartments. I think I'm short as well. I think we've got Fox ready to strike oh. against two. That's so sick. Catches them the exact time they're waiting for execution and rounding on the corner. Taco, his flash. He needs to close this up. Does find another. They've given themselves a fighting chance. And in fact, with MSL on low HP, Fur is going to convert that into a kill. So hey, thanks for the timeout, Dignitas, because now it's a one versus three. Config's gonna grab Bomb, but he's completely surrounded. Catch his throw off, didn't know he was that far into the site, so it's not done yet. The pull has picked up an AK-47 falling. He'll read where he is, push him back to his teammate, and they'll get their fourth round. Well then, Fox, he gets the CJ, he kills two, and there's damage to the third as well, so nice work from him. Still a lot to do here, but uh, they have broken the money for Dignitas at the moment. We'll see what happens here as we get to the next one. There's a little replay there as Fox lights them up and calls Arrow to finish things off there. So, still a chance, you know? Not over just yet, SK. It's not going to be a force bite from Dignitas. Don't need to do that as of yet. Let's get some Deagles. Combo's got head armor. Might have a little bit more money than everyone else. And SK looking to send two players towards the window here. Just to mow them down at the start in case they decide to cross over. I want this position with Cold to spot top mid to allow for in the window to spot down below in the underpass. Fox peeking onto A. Everyone's got obligations and covers each other in tandem, the exception of that being the solo player over on the B site. It's not going to have any support. That's not good. And he likes to play there. Mold is actually just above the top of the window. We're going to see that duel be free oh. now on A. There's activity and missed shots. There's Rubino a chance dink as well. Fox on 23 has to be careful on this as he bounces a Molotov to hold them out of the site. Fallen struggling with the battle stab, but Cajun B, he's only got the Glock, so can't really do too much about that situation. Ooh, lovely. Okay then, Convig. I've got a feeling he can actually win this round, you know. This guy, the way he's playing right now, and he's got the head armor and a low HP Fox in front of him. Long rotation from Cold as well. 
Fox, he's reading this right. Spots it. Take even a shin bone off him if we take him down. Gets a headshot on Fur right now, who tries to take the fight instead. It could be problematic. There it is. Shocks, that's a, excuse me, Fox, excuse me. That's a headshot regardless of the HP. So, well positioned, Taco. Has to be careful not to go on his own here. Go together. Take no chances. Damage going in. They still haven't landed it. He's dancing this well. Reload as well. He's got this lined up. Down he goes. Oh my god, config. Whew. That could have been Almost so closed sick. out the last map with a crazy clutch from him and nearly does another with a deagle that time. I was believing then. I felt it happen. You said <laughs> don't risk anything, but there was certainly a chance for them to let that one slip away. What a sensational one did to keep things off there. Fox, again, this situation you don't really have to face until he's finding the bomb there. He makes it a little bit problematic, but they win the round, I guess. So it's fine. I think Fox's thought process at that point, when he's on 23, I'll just bait him in, but then they didn't re peek it. Yeah, that's true. There's been a lot of those situations where the, the synergy seems off this game, which is understandable, right? This is a difficult tournament for them. Uh, this team has been made for the major coming up, but it, there hasn't really been enough time to kind of get this team in shape just yet. I'm expecting much better things going forward, but let's not count them out just yet. Obviously, still enough map to go. They did win the first map, but obviously some problems there. Pick up the target once it's no. Fox is going to get smoked off. Tries to spray through. Actually, does manage on the pistol to take down Convict. So revenge served. Put down to the end as he pops back through on low HP inside of the smoke. And no way. in. Lovely shot, Taco. Fadeaway jumper through the window. Speaking of jumping, they'll do exactly that to take them down. Now, keep in mind, this is an important round to keep four alive. Because the one thing Convict did do last round is take down three extra players that probably shouldn't have happened. So they're all on single digit, I say single digit, triple, triple digit, digit, sorry, yeah. triple digit economy. So it's actually a situation where they could have had a round in hand and they don't because of it. So keeping four up here kind of serves to save that. They do manage to keep four players alive here. So there, there won't be a, a world of trouble just yet, but yes, certainly weaker than it could have been. But we'll see what happens. There. Round number 20 comes in, a chance for SK Gaming. So to get back into this round by round. Winning some gun rounds now. Didn't really win any at all on the first half. But the all comes in for KGB on the T side now. They wanted to bide their time, didn't give too much away, didn't keep force buying. Dignitas have got a quite good understanding of that game. We'll see what happens here. Orb for Cajun. No orb for the TTs as of yet. Let's see whether the TTs go aggressive, but they're going quite close to the A ramp here. That's going to be. Burn, hold Zara. Watch Cajun. Watch Cajun's fast play. He was over at B. We didn't quite see it. They didn't go for the full peak. But they want to. Oh, double nade. Run, Cajun, run. Cajun get blasted. Colt's going to try and bait in for. Well, for now, mid control is going to be the first port of call here for Dignitas. Smokers, I think that's a miss smoke from CT. So they threw that from Connector and it's landed completely flat. Hasn't done anything for them. So that's some wasted smoke. So it be problematic for them. Boxes towards short. Flashes going towards Connector. Config was trying to get in there, but he gets flashed by his own team. So, a bit messy to kick things off, but no one died as of yet. It's going to be Fox with his first pick. He was great with the CZ, but he has to be careful here. The refrags are not potential. He doesn't have anyone with him now. Oh my god, he's not run out with an aid in your hand. Okay, it's calmed down. He didn't die. It's fine for now. I'm not surprised actually to see him on that catwalk position. I mentioned that Cold Zero could be playing there for aggression. He's going to support Fur, and letting Fox play a position where you can get away being more solo and having just to rotate between two positions on comms. And that lets him get aggressive. This is actually not bad. It also suggests to me that he would be the second off in this situation. So, starting to see a little bit of an unfold. Fall. Meanwhile, jungle only finds one config able to go underneath of him with that crouch, and he's turned to find Cold Zero as well. So, opening things again is config and Falda catching Fox off on B. He's going to lead this to Fur. Pushed back out though. He's got A main covered off. Good pickup. Down to a one versus two though. As Rubino's going to find his teammate, flashing back in as well. Rubino's low, but he's relocated. He's very low on HP, but found in the end. It's for able to clip him down, has to go against Valda. Mercenary versus the three kills so far in this round. And for it's true, but Valda, he's got the AK and he's got the kill. Big round for them to pick up there. It's been a few in a row for SK. I think it was three to be exact, and Valda, he delivers in a big clutter. You mentioned it, the money after the conflict of that Deagle round, it actually has been affecting the economy going forward, and Fallen, he's having a rough time that day, so he gets one there, but Convict, great work from him, considering he's that strong form. So the money now... Fox has an op. They just bought it on Fallen, he threw it over. Really? I'm sure I saw that come out. Don't make... Okay, so Fallen bought it for himself. I thought he threw it to Fox. Desperate times now. Two UMPs, an M4, CZ, and the SK Gaming Fallen, AWP. And we'll be round number 21 here. Maybe a full execution. Okay, two players towards the middle. The mini a little bit uh, deceiving there. So the A execution doesn't come into the smokes. I'm not sure they'll fully commit to this. Just two players towards the middle. 
and he's trying to bait out the little utility the CDs have. And considering the money situation, that's actually a very intelligent thing to do. Voda smokes in, see what the reaction is, and they have one of the incendiaries out from the CTs, and only two smokes and a couple of flashbangs remaining now. Config making his way out towards short. And we have got Fox here, CZ in the hand once again. It was great with it before. He got towards underpass. You know, like the first kill and the second as well. Good work from him. I didn't think he was going to spray turn to that fast enough, but he does. Fur goes down. Rubino wants more as well as he gets towards the jungle position to try and hold him off. Fallen. And AWP. That's going to be coveted at this point in time. Play for overtime with it if you save it, perhaps. It's even then, Desperate tries to find Cage. And fires it's on either side. Does land the second one, but Ball Plant is the last alive. They know where he is. And desperately fires, misses, and goes down. It's going to be map point Dignitas. It looks like the third one's going to be needed. Yes, I think it absolutely will do. So no real money re well, remaining for the CTs at this point. It will be $1,900 coming into their bank accounts. So you feel like this is almost certainly going to be the third map. And we're going to see the replays right now. Rubino doing a great job there towards that connected position. I think he finds three kills in total in the end. But... Yeah, Fallen can't really get going there at all. It's going to be overpass map to the side things, which is almost a certainty at this point. I think that's the map they played before, if I'm not mistaken, right? Was that in the group stage? Yes, that was where yeah. they got obliterated, where Fox was that's right, really was... accumulating anything on the B side. Actually, to be fair, he was rotating a lot out of the A site. And he was playing the swing role, and he was often in off-man situations, but there was one play that I will call him out for behind Truck where he missed a spray down. That's right, okay, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. It's always such a blow when he casts so many maps. I think, uh, I think we, we're going to do some... I'm, I'm going to do some statistics. It's going to take me probably about a month to do. I'm going to okay. look back and see how many maps we've casted this year. I want to like, 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 like guessing the jelly beans in a jar. I'm going to go with like somewhere in the 1200 to 1500 range. Wow. I think. If that you do sounds, every that map. Sounds like that sounds many. pretty high. You're right. Yeah. I, I, was never, maybe, I was never very good at this. I'd say maybe like 400. No, we're way above 400. Because think about it. At events, we do like three to, to six a day. And we do a lot of days. We do four every day for Pro League, Henry. So there's 365 days in a year. We don't work all of them. We work about 200. Do the math. Anyway. I'd, I'd say we're around 800 to 900 at least. CZ's. Five of four man advantage. The four SK at this point. They did push off the A ramp to find the kill on MSL. But still, a lot of work to do here. Molotov's World Shadows. What calls there is. He's got to be in a position. But does find a kill somehow with the CZ. Fallen chimes in as well. And will be two players remaining. Somehow SK have done it. They've kept alive for a little bit at least. As I said, on occasion, does find another kill. And the second one, a flip that was. Nice work. That's actually a very nice shot on Fur, and it opens up the possibility to get in toward the Tetris position. Gage is going to smoke off jungle. Isolation for everyone, and a fast smoke on that box. That's not designed to isolate. That's designed for this. Get in and plant. You've got safety. You've got covers, but you've got no teammates left. Get an O-scope. I dare you. Taco's going to find him. This time, they know where to spray inside of the smoke. Well, then. They do somehow overcome the AK-47s and the AWP as well. Managing to actually win the seventh round. Well, get their seventh round, I should say. And three players surviving as well. They pick up an orb. AKs. I'll have a look at the money quickly for Dignitas. It's actually not an amazing position, but enough to buy. You can see Cajun B's got 5,700. You can't see. I can see. That's what I'm telling you. Um, MSL's the only one really affected by this. He had about 2K. But they are going to buy this one. MSL gets uh, Tech 9. There's four AKs available. They're looking to just close this one out before the CD economy starts to swell. So just buy up now. Try and close it out as quickly as possible before they have a chance to really get back into this game. So this is probably a wise decision at this point. Round 23. Somehow this game was previous. MSL setting the smoke toward the top of the stairwell. Cold Zero. He's going to try and play the gap on top of the cobblestones beneath. Palace balcony. The very well constructed balcony. It seems very safe to walk on those boards, I have to say. Yeah. Have you well, seen any nails in them? I haven't. They're just kind of sitting there. Well then. A execution. Five players for Dignitas heading towards the A site here. Smoke will be raining all over the sites. As you said, this is what made this Brazilian lineup famous, the way they used to execute on the site. Didn't really see much of that in the half. The smokes come in. Dignitas start to ascend onto the top side now. He's got it working, but he's got to get out of there as well because if they throw a Molotov in or oh, that okay. drop down and take him, he doesn't have much movement on top of the cinders. Bench not smoked off, but they've got to push through it, and MSL's there to catch them in doing so. This is game. Fox has been come out from hiding. One versus four, AWP. Yeah. Homage to pretty much every team. He's got Fur on there, he's got Navi on there, he's got MLG, nice souvenir, but I dare say it's not enough. Nice. I thought he was going to get the first one, Henry. I was a little bit hopeful, but it is going to be Dignitas forcing out what is now map three. 
and I dare say that Cash was a bit of a curveball. I think they caught off Digging Toss with that. No one expects SK to pick it, so they leave it in the pool. They say, all right, Fox, run wild. And it works, but now...